This finger puppet management presentation is brought to you by Core Management, a group of five students from the Summer 2016 Principles of Management course. This presentation will provide a brief introduction to the general idea of our show, its characters, and the method of execution. As well, we will discuss how we incorporate a concept of management into the episodes, providing video examples. At the end, we will hear personal reflections from each group member, as well as recommendations for future students and conclusions on the course in management as a whole. Our show, The Fruit Basket, is a dramatic comedy that takes place in a fictional setting at Fresh Fruit Financing in Fruit Town, USA. The show is digitally drawn and animated with voiceovers, and examines how a group of personified fruits coexist in the same office. The show is targeted towards young to middle-aged adults who either have experience working in a group setting or are interested in seeing common problems encountered in offices. The encompassing theme of our show is conflict resolution. The audience will see how the manager of Fresh Fruit Financing struggles with getting the fruits to behave accordingly as they work together on a brick project. Our show consists of six main characters, a manager and five financial analysts, with names alliterated to their respective fruits. In addition to the main characters, the premium fruits, the bosses, will be mentioned, and the audience will also meet Larry Lemon, who works for Fruit Resources. Paul Pineapple is the manager of Fresh Fruit Financing, given the legitimate power or former authority from the premium fruits. This power comes with the expectation that his subordinates will comply. However, Paul's introverted and distant demeanor continues to get challenged by defiant employees. Coral Cantaloupe is an aggressive fruit who often uses the influence tactic of pressure, which includes threats and harsh demands, to get what he wants out of fellow fruit. He is feared by fellow employees due to his easily triggered temper and his hurtful humor. The other fruits tread lightly around him. Ashley Apple is young and spirited, yet somewhat ditzy. Her attitude about herself, job, supervisor, and the organization as a whole shapes the lack of motivation she has for working at Fresh Fruit Financing. She rather spend time gossiping and taking selfies than tending to what should be her number one priority, her job. Omar Orange is a last minute fruit, often being late to work and taking too many breaks. Omar, though a popular fruit in the office, is heavily reliant on external pull factors such as rewards, organizational pressure, and feedback to inspire him to do his work. Walter Watermelon is a very timid fruit, but very emotionally mature. He has an even temper, is not self-centered, and not very defensive. Though these are good things, they can all cause some trouble for him when faced with the wrath of Carl. Walter has an incredible drive and is one of the best workers at Fresh Fruit Financing. Benedict Banana is an older, more ripe fruit who can't seem to keep his words or hands to himself. As he has spent years as a financial analyst at Fresh Fruit Financing, his seniority and status has gone to his head making him think he is untouchable and can do as he pleases without consequence. Coming up with concepts to use in our show was a major part of this project. It was important to connect as many aspects from management with our fictional story. We initially decided that, with the general idea of our show, it would be best to do a conflict resolution theme where in each episode, conflicts will arise between some of the fruits and various methods will be employed to solve them. We threw out some ideas such as sexual harassment, bullying, and laziness. We then dug deeper and found concepts and topics in the book that we could integrate into specific episodes, character profiles, and the overall theme of the show. Following this slide are snippets of episodes from our show, The Fruit Basket, that articulate how we incorporated the concepts into our story. This episode provides the first use of our conflict resolution model to be carried out throughout the show. Appealing Peel shows a conflict that arises in many male-dominated workplaces, sexual harassment. We will specifically address the type of sexual harassment where someone creates a hostile environment. Benedict Banana continues to make inappropriate comments and gestures towards Ashley Apple. She complains to the manager, Paul Pineapple, who she believes doesn't handle the situation properly, resulting in him getting contacted by Fruit Resources, which will allow our audience to meet a minor character, Larry Lemon. Paul and Benedict then undergo interpersonal training, which addresses skills such as effective listening, conflict resolution, negotiation, and coaching to better understand sexual harassment and conflict resolution. Viewers will also observe the moral and sensitivity factors of Paul, Benedict, and Larry who all have different perspectives on the situation at hand. Hey, hot stuff. You looking mighty plump today. Don't touch me, Benedict. Oh, come on, Ashley. Don't be a tease.
I really have a problem with Benedict. Every day it's some lewd joke or him touching me or both, and I'm sick of it. Benedict is a bit of an older fruit, and he might not understand that he's coming on a bit too strong. Look, Paul, I like working here, but Benedict is a creep, and if you don't do something about it, I'll quit. Ah, hi, Benedict. Um, the reason I called you in is because I've received a handful of complaints from several other co-workers about you in regards to perverse comments, lewd behavior, inappropriate touching, and I, I just wanted to ask you personally, this, is there any truth to this, Benedict? Have you been sexually harassing other employees? Harassment? That's a bit much, don't you think? I'm just complimenting her. Look, Benedict, this is the third time this month I've had to call you into my office for this, and I'm tired of having this conversation. Just cut it out, will ya? Paul, Patey's f female fruits, no mine. Fruits like Ashley are just uptight. If you ask me, she just wants to sue and get some money out of the company. That's what fruit her age does. <sighs> alright, that'll be all, Benedict. I'll talk to you later. We're going to put you guys through a training program to help you, Benedict, to avoid these situations, and you, Paul, to approach such issues in the laws governing sexual harassment. This episode presents yet another conflict, this time bullying between Carl Cantaloupe and Walter Watermelon. Here viewers can see how employees' attitudes can negatively affect the work environment and cause a rapid down spiral in productivity as well as cause other problems to arise. To increase productivity of the project, a task force is formed. Walter, due to previous encounters with Carl, lacks cohesion, which is the degree to which the members are motivated to remain in the group. Ultimately, intergroup conflict, defined as differences occurring within the task force, occurs. Carl isn't very emotionally intelligent, so he isn't aware of others' feelings. He has an insensitive nature and the inability to see the error in his ways, which all results in a big problem arising. In efforts to resolve the issue, Paul Pineapple holds a problem-solving conference between the two fruits. Alright everyone. A small deadline for the project is coming up, so a new task force will be formed to handle it. This task force will be comprised of Carl Cantaloupe, Walter Watermelon, Peter Plum, and Stacy Strawberry. Best of luck to you all, please keep me updated on how everything goes. I don't know if putting Carl and I on the same project is such a good idea, boss. Don't worry about it, Walter. Everything will be fine. It's just a short and sweet assignment. It'll be done before you even know it. And besides, I thought you and Carl were friends. Looking forward working with you, Wally. <laughs> uh, I think we should... Hey, Greeny, let the important fruit that knows what they're doing handle this. But I think I could bring some good ideas to the table. Look, the only thing you should be bringing to the table are some snacks. I'm sure you know where those are, right? <laughs> I've noticed that the environment in the office has shifted. I see Carl alone more often, and he's not his usual boasting self. Additionally, the task force has not been as effective as I thought it would be. The Gantt chart shows that there has not been as much productivity as need be. It's starting to worry me. In the following slides, you will hear from each member of core management as we reflect on a concept of management we learned by executing the Finger Puppet Management Project.
We will also give recommendations for future management students on how to execute the project and succeed in this course. This was definitely a unique course. A lot of courses just kind of have you learn from a textbook, take a test, do homework, etc. But this course really just kind of throws you into it. The first week we were put into groups of five people or so, all complete strangers, and we were all tasked to work together and create a small TV show, which at first was a very daunting task. But I quickly learned that through organizational structure, probably one of the most important management concepts I've learned, that by divvying up the work, we were all able to split the workload and get it done fast and efficiently. And honestly, I'm really proud of our product. I'm really glad that we were able to come up with such a fantastic idea and execute it so well. I could not appreciate my teammates more. Our group went through the four stages of group development model, which are forming, storming, norming, and performing. We have used this group development process in our group throughout the semester. In the final unit, we reflect on the past several projects and we have learned about foundations of business management and how this may apply to help us become better managers and better management students. I really learned so many new business management skills and techniques. In addition, we have tackled all the problems as a group and we all work hard to find the solution for it. I would say that we had great communication in our group. This is an essential technique for the successful business management process. We have communicated with the help of technology in which all came on same platform to share and discuss our ideas and work. Everyone supported each other's ideas in the group. After everyone shared their ideas, we got agreed on one idea and worked through it during the whole semester. This is the kind of strategy we used in this course. It helped each of the members to learn more about the management skills. I learned that through management, managers need to develop skills through combination of aptitude, education, training, and experience. Um, they're critical for managerial tasks. This helped us in the, in the project, considering we had to be able to coordinate and then a lot like distribute certain tasks to get done on our weekly uh, milestones. This was also very helpful in completing other tasks and allowed us to combine to combine certain managerial roles. So for instance, there was a figurehead role, which was the leadership role. And then there was also other roles and we were able to all come together and finish this project. My favorite concepts to learn by doing the finger puppet management project were definitely integration, differentiation, and the various ways groups can go about completing assignments. My group relied on the splitting of tasks heavily to execute the project, and so did the fruits in the show. The course has taught me a lot, and not like all courses, it throws you into a real life example. The group itself has taught me a lot, working with people who have their own lives and lives to live in different background forces you to work around it and grow. I love it a lot because we are all different in almost every way, and yet we are here with our heads together, communicating and working together to complete a goal. Learning to cooperate with everyone's schedule and free time allows us to be patient and understanding. My group is filled with hardworking individuals who see, wants to see the success in this class. They are constantly communicating and getting work done, and that's exactly what this class is teaching effective managing. We are not just managing these assignments and projects, but our time as well. Core Management highly recommends this course. It is fun and educational and delivers knowledge and experience that is useful moving forward in any professional career. The Finger Puppet Management Project took us through various phases of the development process and gave us a real insight into the world of management. We learned many new concepts, but most importantly, how to work as a team. Management in general can come in handy for any person, student, teacher, or professional. 
Our number one recommendation for future students doing a project like this is to communicate via an application similar to Slack, which allows group members to message and send files. This allows for the best communication, one of the top three factors we consider essential to success in groups. Following communication is effort. Every member must participate in all tasks. Lastly, be time conscientious. Due dates can sneak up on you and you do not want to rush this project.